Hi, how's it going? I'm Malachi Grubb, CEO and engineer of Elite Automation. Today, we're going to show you how to uh, import a part into RoboGuide and how to associate a part with a fixture. Kind of just gonna be generic but it's something that's very powerful it's something that can be very very useful in a real world application i'm sorry that we're like when we're doing these videos we're showing us off so much generic content but uh, in reality it just takes a lot of resources for us to use our own internal designs and a lot of our own internal designs we can't use because of proprietary information that's just how this industry works as you probably already know so let's go ahead and jump right into this thing so we're going to start off by adding a part to this cell. So we're just gonna click right here, add a part. So you can add a part from the CAD library, or you can add a generic item, or you can add a single CAD with, uh, like say for instance, that could be your external device. We're gonna just use something from the CAD library like I mentioned. This pops up, this uh, box, and we are going to go through here and choose what item we wanna use. We're just gonna go ahead and use a door, uh, just for this example's sake. We're just going to OK it. We're not worried about changing the size of it or anything like that. You can change the size and the scaling right there. You can even give it a weight that the door is. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, add a fixture. So we want this fixture to be close to the robot. We want our part to be close to the robot. Uh, and maybe we know the exact dimensions of the fixture to the robot. Same way we just added the part is the same way we're going to add a fixture. So we're just going to add a table into here. Like I said, this is very useful for if you know exactly how far away your fixture is away from your robot, but maybe not necessarily the part. Maybe you just don't have a, a 2D CAD of that or 3D CAD of that. So you can go ahead and put in whatever your fixture is. Let's just say it's like a nest, something more uh, designed to be specific to the part that you're uh, working with. So we're just going to go ahead and change this. So we can put this to a zero and it'll bring the chair leg. Now the origin of different parts are different. So sometimes if you put zero, that'll sink that table below the surface of the ground. Uh, so we're just gonna move it where we want it. Kind of just drag it around. And another thing that is nice about this, when you associate the part with it, you also associate the part with the fixture itself. And so anywhere you move the fixture, you also move your part. So let's just go ahead and change this to OK, apply it, boom. Just so we have a better contrast of what's going on here. So we've made a video on how to change that color if you didn't catch that. So now we need to click into the table fixture, click parts, and then it has the associated parts that are inside the cell. We're not, they're not associated at the moment actually. We're gonna associate them here. These are just the parts that are existent within the cell. So we're gonna check that. We're gonna hit apply and boom. As you can see, it took the uh, door and automatically added it to the origin. So it, did, it added the origin of the table to the origin of the door. And we're gonna uh, edit the part offset. So this is gonna change the location of where this door sets. So this is the part that's really important. Like if you know exactly where this door goes, uh, you can drag this around and put it in the exact location. So we're just manually making changes here. You gotta make sure you hit that edit part offset or you won't be able to edit, it'll be grayed out. Here we go. Like I said, this is just pretty generic, but if you have a specific feature on this fixture that you wanna lock uh, your part to and you have a specific origin of your part, you can lock those two together. So whenever you're doing your engineering, technically you should have your origin points uh, match up and be the exact same. Uh, so that way you have the same reference for your fixturing and your, your parts. Boom. Now we're going to see our robot reach and just uh, indicate that our robot can reach this particular item. Apply it. All right, so as you can see, we've added a uh, part to a fixture. Hopefully this video was useful for you guys and hopefully at some point we'll get to the point where we can devote some more resources into uh, doing these type of videos and actually do some like legitimate fixturing. Uh, but like I said before, it's just, it's very resource intensive to try to do a full design of, of, of a fixture and then have a part that's associated with that fixture. 
but at some point we're definitely going to be there we're definitely definitely going to get there and we're going to produce that content and most likely be producing that content for free uh we'll also be also be offering like training classes and then also as you know we do system integration that's kind of what we do as a company so we're doing everything for robotic sales tooling designs and we're in our you know our core business model is capital projects so we're designing everything from the ground up or just doing little small jobs for individuals that need our services so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you find this content useful and I'll catch you in the next one.